This is my front yard. When I first started this garden project, it was all grass. Now you can see it's mostly wildflowers. Mexican marigold here, Pride Barbados, Mexican oregano, and Mexican bush sage. So this garden blooms at all times of the year. Esperanza over here, trying to just turn this into a no mow area. Same thing here, most of my concept is no mow. This is my favorite plant, Texas sage. I've uh, got many Texas sages on the property, also down here, and uh, canyon sages over here, Mexican willow. This area right here, this swale, is typically wildflowers, um, blue bonnets and stuff like that. Over here we've got a mountain laurel and also canyon sage. Yeah. Going this way, you can see we have Mexican bush sage again and a row of uh, Mexican mint marigold here so that during the fall those play off each other. Another uh, Leucophyllum, Texas sage. In the front here we have Salvia gregii for hummingbirds and Flame acanthus for hummingbirds. I lost a tree there, so a shrub there, so I'm planted five more Flame acanthus. Also kind of tucked into the back, Jerusalem sage. It kind of gets ratty. So I tuck it away to the back here. And uh, Mystic Spire Sage. Um, also have some standing cypress here, kind of going through their bloom cycle, right next to the Yucca Ristrata. Pretty awesome. These are not native, but uh, I do like them. Plumbago, they're very hardy. Just kind of going through a bloom cycle. Love that plant. And so this is uh, this was all grass, and now you can see it's clearly not all grass. Mm -hmm. Moving up here, you can see all the standing cypress underneath growing up into the uh, Yucca Ristrata. Coming over this way, you can see more Mexican bush sage, the back side of it. Black and blue sage here. And a Monterey oak, Mexican white oak. I love Palmetto State Park and I love the dwarf palmettos, so I've got dwarf palmettos right here. A few succulents in the ground, a little succulent display and some yarrow. Also have some white mist flower here. Over here, we've got some lamb's ear. Um, a little bit more of the succulents. Mexican mint marigold. Plumbago kind of adds as the uh, bottom cover there, ground cover. Um, this is largely a no-mo concept. You can see back here we've got tropical sage, Salvia coccinea. And then over here we've got milkweed. This is the native uh, Splesiosa, whatever, tuberosa. That's tuberosa there. And then right here I have a, an antelope horn. This is Greg's mist flower right here, right behind the Esperanza and the Pride of Barbados. This is not a native, but I sure do like the smell of it. Sweet almond verbena. And um, coming up here, dwarf yopon holly. Bamboo muley here. I do love the texture of this bamboo muley grass, kind of hiding the foundation. And uh, you can see that this is a different garden than what you can see out there. I really like the combination of blue and yellow and the combination of Esperanza and Pride of Barbados is one of my favorites. So this is the front.